the everyday girl who dream about being a well-known athlete, a great mom, a successful businesswoman, and active in their communities. I found out I had cancer when I got a biopsy done because I could not put any weight on my leg and we had no idea why. I was just prepared to do whatever I needed to do to survive, so. It definitely tests how you view life living in the Bahamas with a disability. Um, because when you become disabled, because being a society term, you have to reorient yourself. Everything that you used to be, you no longer. And that within itself is difficult to do. So then when you have other labels like disability and what you can't and won't and should not do, it's just a whole nother level of what am I going to do as a person? My greatest fear is to leave my kids. I don't want to leave them. I don't want to leave them without them knowing how strong and wonderful they are even with having a mom like me. Um, I know people see me and they said I'm so strong. I am still human. And I want my kids to know that life does not end if something happens to them. If no one loves them or shows love to them, know that they are love and they can bring that forth from from their self. My goals and ambitions are the Paralympics, 2020 to be exact, in the triathlon. I've always been an athlete and I'm still an athlete, even being an above the knee amputee. And um, also I am very civically involved and I would like to impact my community. So disability attorney, is what I'm gearing for long-term. To make my journey to the Paralympics a reality, I need each and every person who has the ability to fund nutrition-wise, training, the facilities that we do have, swimming, cycling, and running. Those are the three elements that a triathlon consists of. I am a power triathlete, and I have acquired the adaptive equipment, which means my running blade, my cycling leg, and my bike. Now I need to take it up a notch. And so I need persons to come on board with me, whether you're trainers, whether you're, you're nutritionalists, supplements, everything, possible and anything possible. I need them to come together so that when I take this training up, it'll be a breeze. At this time, Corporate Bahamas, I don't feel they see disability as something that is worth value in. And I say that because the term donation is always thrown about. And when we hear donation, or when I hear donation, I don't see it as someone being able to move forward from that. I see that as you're helping them right there, but what do they do after that donation is gone? So investment is what I've always spoken about when I spoke to Corporate Bahamas. Let's invest in persons with disabilities because we are the best kept secret. I am an above the knee amputee and I'm a hairstylist, I'm a makeup artist. I am a graphic artist, an event planner. I have done so many behind the scenes with production stuff. And that's because even though I'm an amputee, I still have skills, I still have value. I have 
every excuse to give up. Every moment I want to give up sometimes. And I've come to the realization that I don't live in that space though. I know that there's more than just sitting there and saying what I don't have. I come from a space of gratitude. There's so many more that I do have, so many things that I can build on top of. I represent never giving up. I'm Erin Brown, and I'm from Shallow Waters. Thank you.